Let's see how you can build a powerful expense parser using the latest technologies in AI. You'll be able to upload a receipt and extract its structured data such as total cost, supplier name, purchase date, and so forth. We will be building this project in low code using Rowi for managing the backend running on Google Cloud. We will also be using Google's Document AI to analyze and parse the receipts leveraging one of its pre-trained models for data extraction. First, in ROWI, create a table from the Document AI Expenses template. You will be asked to enter a name for the table where all your data will be stored. You can just leave the defaults here and move on to the next step. This template relies on the Google Document AI API to parse expenses. We need to enable this API in our project to continue. In the Google Cloud console of your project, go to API and Services. Now click the Enable APIs and Services button. And here you can search for Document AI. Select the one that's named Cloud Document AI API and click the Enable button to enable the API in your project. And now that we've enabled the Document AI API in our project, we can move on to the next step. To communicate with the Document AI API, we need a project ID and processor ID. We can get these values by creating an expense processor. Back in the Google Cloud console of your project, search for Document AI and select the one that says Document AI. Next, go to the processor gallery and search for expense. The expense parser should show up. Click Create Processor. Now enter a name for the processor and click Create. Once the processor is created, you'll be able to access the project ID and processor ID. Take note of these values as you'll be needing them in the next step. And now that we've created an expense processor, we can move on to the next step. Now, all you need to do is enter your project ID and processor ID here. With these values entered, we can now move on to the next. Okay, so the last thing we need to do in the Google Cloud Console is grant Roby permission to use Document AI in our derivatives. In the console, go to IAM and Admin. And search for Roby function. The Roby function service account for your project should show up. Click the edit icon to proceed. Now click the add another role button and search for document AI. Select the document AI administrator role and just click save. And now Rui has permission to use document AI so we can continue to the next step. Now let's deploy the cloud functions required by our project. Rowi gives you pre-built automation code for all the backend functionality, which can be deployed in one click to your own Google Cloud project. It's okay if you don't know how to work with Google Cloud. Rowi takes care of it for you and gives you a low-code approach to work on a powerful backend stack. The deploy functions here will parse any receipt you upload and return the total cost, supplier name, and date. Great. So the functions are all deployed and we're finished with the setup phase. Now we can verify that everything works. Let's upload our first receipt. After a short moment, we can see that the parse data column has been populated. This column contains the entire structure data that was extracted from the receipt and the other fields, total cost, supplier name, all derive their values from this parsed data. These are all derivative fields, which are fully programmable fields that will listen for changes in other columns and then run whatever JavaScript code you have defined in them. With Rowi, you can use just about any NPM package or third party API. So you can build powerful apps without any of the limitations that you usually find in most no code platforms. If we take a look at the parsed data derivative, we can see that we are using the document AI NPM package. We are taking advantage of Google's AI and its high level of accuracy when it comes to processing documents of all types. 
in our case, expense related documents. Here, we are creating a processor client and sending a request via this client to our expense processor. In the body of our request, we are sending the uploaded image along with some additional data. We get a bunch of information in the response, but we only care about the entity's object. So we simply return it at the end. Our second derivative total cost is rather basic. We're filtering out most of the parse data, except for the data with a type of total amount. As this is the only piece of data this column is concerned about, then we just return its text. The date derivative is pretty much doing the same thing. We're filtering the parse data by type to only retain and return the receipt date. Finally, the supplier name derivative is also filtering the parse data, exclusively extracting and returning the supplier name. Now that we have some data in Rowie, let's take a look at this over in the Firebase console. Rowie securely stores all your data within your Firebase project, ensuring complete data ownership. The data we just added in Rowie is stored in a Firestore under the table name we entered. In this case, it was document AI expenses parser. If we expand this, we can see that the five fields receipt image, parse data, total cost, date, and supplier name are all here with the data that was generated in ROI. And that's how you build an expense parser using the latest and greatest AI technologies Google has to offer. You could of course extend this even further to work with multiple types of documents or to automate your document processing workflows entirely. It's that simple. Just build on Rowi and seamlessly integrate with your existing projects or preferred frameworks, or even leverage no-code app builders such as Flutterflow. That's all we have for now. See you in the next one.